today we are at the Centerville Transfer Station to learn all about when it's open and what you can bring. So can you tell us where we are and the hours and days of operation here? Sure. We are at the Centerville Transfer Station and it's located at 401 Harper Road just north of the town of Centerville. And the days that they're open are Monday, Wednesday and Saturday 8 until 4. So what are a couple things that you might be able to bring here that you can't take to the other transfer stations? Okay, one of the main things that you can bring here in the red container that we have is gasoline. So if you have a gasoline product, you can bring it to this transfer station only and we take it. That's with a partnership with the Maryland Environmental Service. So it's completely free. They also have the used antifreeze and the used oil tanks here. But again, gas is the only thing that you can bring to the Centerville location only. And in addition to that, we have the electronics recycling container where you can bring your computers and computer components. And they are put in there that, again, is with the Maryland Environmental Service. And in addition to Centerville, you can take your computer components to the Graysonville or Bats Neck location. And again, that is completely free. Now for the most important question. If someone lives in Centerville, where can they get tickets? Okay, you can buy them in Centerville at the Acme Supermarket, the Food Line Supermarket, the Price and Gannon Hardware Store, or the Finance Liberty Office. And what kind of things do you not need tickets for? You do not need tickets to pick up mulch, to use the reuse container, to use the electronics recycling container, or to use the oil antifreeze and gasoline recycling. So now we're here at the mulch pile, and can you tell us how you guys make the mulch? Sure, it's actually from the materials that residents bring in. There's a, what we call the brush pile, and it's from yard trimmings and, and um, debris from trees. It's the limbs that come in. And a tub grinder comes in and then grinds the mulch, or grinds material into the mulch that is now available, free to any county resident or business that would like to use it. Uh, they can come get it any day that the sites are open. It is available at all five of the county transfer stations. Now, if a resident has construction or demolition debris, can they bring it here? Yes, they can, but we do only take small amounts of construction demolition debris. It is for residents only, so if they are doing a small project at home, we can take it. The limit to, to visualize it, we've gone with a 55-gallon drum, so if you can picture how big that is, that's how much material that a resident could bring into the site. If they have larger quantities or if it's a business, then they need to use the Harvey Baker rubble fill where they take rubble construction demolition debris only or the Midshore Regional Landfill in Ridgely. What do you use the recycling center behind us for? Okay, that building is where we bale cardboard and white paper and boat shrink wrap and we bale it there and is then sold and revenue is brought into the county and that's the materials that are brought to the transfer stations or on our recycling collection route. And if people want to find out more information about this site, where can they find that? They can go to the web at www.qac.org and look under Public Works for the South Waste Division or they can call the Department of Public Works at 410-758-2697.